Dylan and I worked on all parts of the video, from casting, which we did remotely from LA, to location scouting, to styling. Hi, I'm Hayden Cowdy, and I work for Majestic International. What do I like doing with my friends? We have fun doing drama and making dance routines. Yeah, so I guess what were the main things we were going for with casting? Um, probably just kids with personality because we were asking a lot from them to be really um, animalistic and be kind of intense and to maintain eye contact, which I feel like can be really hard for some of these kids who are like five years old. I feel like with the outfits, with deciding who got what, we had like 40 puzzle pieces, like little power pieces that we had collected that we felt like had personality and really connected to the casting videos that we had seen. Yes. And then it was a matter of like just Mixing shaking them that. around and seeing who really lit up in certain outfits. I don't even know what that is. Originally, I found the locations on Google Street View because we were in LA. I knew that I wanted it to be close to the area that I grew up in and the park that we shot at, actually all of it was just a few blocks away from my nan's house. I like that area because the houses are pretty old and kind of reflect the houses that I was hanging out around when I was a kid and there were so many beautiful details like for example the courtyard which we only stumbled across when we actually got there. Um, the trees, all the houses having this beautiful symmetry. Locked off. That's where we were planning on doing I love the way this neighborhood looks. I know, it's amazing, right? Yeah, now like having driven around a bunch of other areas and seeing how much the aesthetic changes so quickly, mm -hmm. I love the uniformity of this. Yeah. I really wanted this game of hide and seek slash chasing slash like this primal dance to feel minute to minute like a high speed chase. Yes. And so I feel like in order to make a meal out of that, we really had to go to the location and rehearse you just running around, turning corners, mm -hmm. and to really see what that relationship between the camera and the kids was gonna look like. This is the alley. They're spilling out of the alley. And she turns to us and then they go out and chase her. Yep. <laughs> Cute. I think the craziest moment was when we pulled up to the location and there was that kid that was playing hide and go seek. Yeah. I just feel like it was such a like wink from the universe that we were exactly where we needed to be. Yep. Because we were worried that it wasn't a game that was totally relevant anymore, but you course. just never know, yeah. you know. But it's a it's a game, game that boy. has been since the beginning of time, and yeah. like you said, will be there for forever. The camera movement going the opposite way of the way they are circling yeah. really works. Okay, go ahead. It definitely looked insane dancing in that one spot over and over to you filming me and testing stuff out. And there's definitely people watching. Mm -hmm. For sure, in the neighborhood, wondering who the heck this girl was who was throwing <laughs> little light blasts. Energy balls. Yeah. Great. But the experimentation was super important because I, we needed to get the right mix between the animalistic kind of movements and the surreal dance. One of the most exciting moments for me was having Lily and Lola learn their quiet scene <laughs> in the morning before the shoot and just how all of our ideas instantly came to life. Okay, so everybody, we're going to be getting a lot of your facials. So go, ah, ah, like going crazy, you're just like, like. We had a like, really small crew. Yeah. We like, hired a local cinematographer, Marco Fanta, whose work we really responded to. And we had a focus pull up. And it was me and Dylan and my family members helping out. And that was it. 
Yeah, oh my god, Marco with that heavy Alexa. Yeah. And we really wanted it to be such a low angle so the kids looked so large and like in charge. I'm putting some on my ears. I need one. Blow one. <laughs> By the end of the day, the kids were getting super restless and were kind of turning on Dylan. Yes, I knew that if I just let up on the energy for one second, it was going to be a no-go. So I just took it to the max. I remember just like giving them candy and smoothies and just like being their cheerleader and just throwing my body around thinking if I just match this a thousand percent, they will not fall asleep on me. Yeah, we had to squeeze out the yeah. last remaining amount of juice from the kids. Four, one, two. 